Hi, Ken with another tech tip here. Today we're gonna to talk about doing a single backup. So to perform a single backup, we need to enter the service software. So we're going to go up here to choose options, go down to service, and choose local service. And we need to put in our usual service key. And then we choose the backup restore option. So in this case, I recommend that for performing backups, we have options to make backups to a variety of different drives. Um, as you can see here, there's a whole slew of them. Uh, we have everything from the DVD to USB options. Um, I find it's actually fastest to make the backup to the C drive. And by doing so, we cut down on the time involved in some of the backup options and it also allows us to then go on and, and redistribute that save file into USB devices. You can even keep a copy stored on the C drive for emergency purposes. Um, it just gives you a lot more options. So in this case, we've chosen the C drive to make the backup to, and now we're gonna choose the package. Basically, you can only pick one package at a time. In this case, we are going to do uh, the software settings package and we're gonna choose go. And as the software actually does the backup, we'll be able to monitor it here in the lower left corner. It says backup slash restore running. Uh, we see a start time for the backup. And as the backup progresses through the process, it'll give us continued update status. It basically does the backup based on a group structure of how Samara software is, is orientated and structured. And at this point, essentially, we just have to wait for it to finish. Another thing to be aware of is if there is an error during this process, we will see it indicated over here in these empty fields on the far left hand side. We see that the backup completed tells us how long it took and gives us a date and time stamp. We can scroll through this and we can look and see if there were any errors. If there were, it would actually say our error in red letters in these boxes over here at the far left hand side. So we don't see any, which is a good thing. But just because you may see an error doesn't mean that it's necessarily something to worry about. You need to find if it errored out, what was the related file that caused the error. If it was a temporary file, there's nothing to worry about because temporary files technically should be purged anyways. Um, if it's a potential license file, you may no longer have an active license or maybe you never had an active license for that particular option and you will see an error, but it's related to a, a service function which you don't actually even have installed on your software. So again, that's nothing to worry about. It's just how the software is structured and how the process works. So our backup is completed. Um, at this point, I can go back to the service window. I can now use, again, our Windows key and go to the C drive. And what I'm gonna find is the backups are just put right to the root of the C drive. So if I sort these by date modified, here is the backup file that I just created. It gives me the software, software settings, 02, which is the group that I did, and it gives me actually a date and timestamp, so 2018-04-26, or 26, and the time. Now what I can do is I can take this, and I can again drag this down and drop it onto my backup drive, and <laughs> maybe not. Let me try putting it onto the other USB drive. Okay. So... Now we see the backup file on my USB drive. And again, it's far faster to do this than it is to say write to a DVD or CD. Uh, it's even faster to do it this way than it is to write directly to the USB device. At this point, when we close these windows, we wind up back at our desktop again. For more information or tips like this, see the description.